can get the advantage and try and create that little springboard to improve their results at this very early stage going into the rest of the month and then into September. The ref referee, Matthew O'Shea, gets things underway. Little and Remicker start things off. Long ball down the left-hand side, searching, headed clear by Jack Higgins, his first start of the season for FC Alabama. Richards down that right-hand side, a sea of bodies in there as he loops it over. Jacob Crook heads clear in the left-back position, all the way into Sean Doyle, sent to the SLM and half, moving out to the left-hand side. Short pass to Mikey Williams, it's a heavy touch though there. William Dunn will intercept that. Moving out to the right-hand side yet again, little Remica chipped to the edge of the SLM and box. Alex Maitland stabs it clear to Mikey Williams, he still can't keep hold of that there. Jacob Crook goes flying in with the challenge. They've got some big figures in the box, I like to the captain, Jamie Hay, is in there up from centre-half for Remica here. First set-piece opportunity of the game so far with uh, just under four minutes gone here. It is going to be done, left-footed in-swinger goes directly for goal, it's straight into the hands of Adam Killier who read it all the way. And he'll just calm things down there. So a comfortable take for the FC Alaman goalkeeper. First shot on target of the game for Lidl and Remica from that set piece. Long ball from Adam Killier. Looks for Dean Leeds who hooks it into the path of Sean Dodd. Down the left hand side. Jacob Crook moving forward from left back. It's across the box here. Cleared by Horton. Here is Crook. He's got plenty of options in front of him. Throws it to the edge of the box for Dean Leeds. Back to goal. Who goes back this time to Steve Whitley. On this left hand side. Can't get the pass down the left. It's stabbed away again. And this time uh, by Oliver Nugent. Little and Remica holding firm here. FC Alaman struggling to get out of this little pocket they found themselves in the Little and Half. Here's Sean Doyle, rolls his man to get to the byline, clips it across goal. No other keeper doesn't quite get there, it's going to fall to Whitley on the shot, blocked by the defender. Here, Nugent will try and get things underway quickly. Here come Little and Remica through the centre of the park trying to bring numbers forward. Back to Richards at the right back position, hooks it into the centre of the park, cleared by Alex Maitland on the header. Richards responds with another header back into the centre. Maitland, bit of head tennis going on in the centre here, eventually brought down with Brendan O'Brien, it's a heavy touch. Jack Higgins will clear that. Looped over to FC Alaman's left flank here, Dean Lee's trying to bring that down up against his market. Idowu covering well, but it's deflected kindly to Jacob Crook, who can get himself to the left byline here, wants to get it across goal, does so, nice little shot, oh great save! This time by Reynolds and cleared by Liverland. A bit of fortune about that, Adam Idowu got the... Interception in it, deflected to Jacob Crook, who managed to take it in his stride and take it to the byline. Knocked it towards the near post. Sean Doyle with a little back heel towards the near post. Jack Reynolds did well to keep himself big and just got a big right foot to it, just to stop it creeping in at the near post. Danger not over, though, for Litherland. Here's Dean Lees with the right-footed in-swinging corner. All the way to the back post it goes. Litherland trying to clear. Jamie Hayes got a bit of space in his own penalty. And uh, Sean Doyle, he's been uh, a key part in... Both of FC Alaman's opening games, you, you remember of course he had a, a long way back from the injury that he picked up right at the early end of last season, but something just not quite right here for the FC Alaman top scorer. To the coaching staff what might be the issue, maybe a, a bit of a muscle problem or something along those lines. Back to the action on the pitch then, it's going to be Steve Whitley over on the right hand side with the left footed in the swinging corner here. In it goes, looks for Ryan Birds, his headed is deflected into the six yard box, Little and Do managed to clear. Little and Remica had uh, a very good defensive record particularly uh, with a, among a lot of the teams last season. Here's Hamill down that left-hand side. Headed on and into the path of Taylor on the left. He's going to try and beat Alex Maitland for pace to the edge of the box. Adam Killier comes out and clears. Good movement by Taylor there. Keeper is rushing to the edge of his box quickly. Wants to get his team away as quick as he possibly can. Long ball through the centre. Elliot Taylor trying to get the better side of uh, Jack Higgins here and does so. Here's Taylor to hit one. Great goal from Lidlin. The visitors lead here. F. Salomon nil. Lidlin Remick one. It's route one from the goalkeeper. He released his striker in. Another set-piece opportunity for Litherland, who lead here. Here's Dunn with the left foot and in swinger, all the way to the back post, headed clear by Michael Williams to the edge of the box. Oliver Nugent hooks it back into the six-yard area to here. Ball moves in field to Idowu. Nugent. Ball back out to the right for Litherland for Richards. He tries to transfer it to the left-hand side for Hamill, intercepted by Jack Higgins. Nice little turn by Steve Whitley on his marker, Oliver Nugent here. Trying to get away down that right-hand side. A couple of nibbles from Oliver Nugent there. He is going to be pulled back for a free kick here. Steve Whitley trying to get away. Challenges and make the most of it, but he's over this free kick. Whitley with the long ball into the centre from the free kick here. Idowu tries to bring that down. Hooked back forward by Alex Maitland. Headed clear. Walters goes back to Hay. Half clears it towards Mikey Williams here. Edge of the box. He's got a couple of players around him. Short pass to the right hand side for Whitley. Who gets it onto his left foot here. Turns back onto his right. Left footed ball out to the right hand side for Dean Lee. So will get to the byline. Chance maybe to get across it and does so. All the way to the six yard box. Williams is there and headed over. Get Taylor of Liverland the difference between the two sides as it stands. Here comes the free kick from Hamill for Liverland. Lofted in towards the back post, looks for Hay, who gets it across the six-yard box and cleared to Adam Idowu of Rutherland on the edge of the penalty area. Lee's trying to get there and can't quite do so. Good covering from Nugent, lovely footwork down the right-hand side, but he stopped in his tracks this time by Joe Walters, who goes flying in to win that. And the fans aren't happy with that, it's a little free kick on the right-hand side.
Is done with the left-footed in-swinger into the six-yard box, headed away by Mikey Williams of FC Alaman to the right-hand side, and Sam Baines is there, he'll clear up the right. Steve Whitley looking to chase up against uh, Jack Richards here in the Liverland back line just inside the half. Heads only into the path of Dean Lees here, who wants to play the through ball to Steve Whitley on the right edge of the box. He's forced back on himself here to the edge of the box. Whitley clips it into the back post. There's Jacob Crook, he gets caught with his own players, shot deflected and wide. Sam Baines, short ball out to the left-hand side. Crook. Looks for Dean Lees. He's beaten to by Richards here. Idowu does enough on the loose ball to put it out of play. Crook with the throw in field. Looks for Mikey Williams who shakes himself away from Nugent. Referee played advantage. No advantage is coming so it's an F Salaman free kick. Over this free kick. Around uh, 25 yards out. Off centre to the left. Whitley. Early ball in. Looks for Maitland who can't get the volley right and it's cleared as far as Gelling. Here's Walters. Williams to hit one first time and wide to the left post. Here, Steve Whitley standing over this one. It is a... Uh, Small margin between these two sides, but Liverland have certainly had the better of the chances up until this point. FC Alaman will need to up the tempo of their game if they are to try and avoid back-to-back -back defeats here. Whitley goes all the way back to open this first half. That's a short pass. Joe Walters trying to get onto the loose ball. Doesn't quite do so. Hamill clears for Liverland. Down their left-hand flank. Here's Corliss to chase inside the FC Alaman half. Might have the beating of Jack Higgins for pace here. Here's Corliss tries to get away from Higgins. It's moved on to Oliver Nugent, who's gone into the box. Adam Killian with the save in the near post. On the left edge of the Liverland box turns away from Walters and will clear up that left hand side. Only as far as Gelling and F. Salaman who heads in field first time to Sam Baines. First time through ball to uh, Dean Lees here. He felt he was wrestled off the ball. Nothing given. Clear by Liverland and then back into their half Nugent. He's going to feed that through to Elliot Taylor here who's got a bit of space up against his marker. Gets into the box. Right footed effort and over the top. Another opportunity for Elliot Taylor of Liverland. Mang they do get things back underway with Baines from the drop ball to uh, Jack Higgins who will. Uh, Transfer this out from right to left to Jacob Crook who brings it down nicely and cuts in field. Loft the ball into the centre. Looks for Walters. Punch clear by Reynolds and Galen couldn't control on the edge of the box. William Duncan step in and clear down the left hand side. Goes down by Whitley. Horton finds Hamill on the left hand side. Ball in field to Dunn. Under pressure from Sam Baines who wins it back up against Nugent here. Nugent does well to recover and plays it out to the left hand side for Hamill. Who wants to clip it over the top. That's a lovely ball for Elliot Taylor who's in on goal here. Up against Adam Kelly tries to take it round in and go for goal and in. Brilliant finish. Taylor has his second. Liverland have their second. First time header out to Idowu. Gives it back to O'Brien who's trapped back on himself on that right hand side. Richards. Long ball over the top. Here's Elliot Taylor again. The flag has stayed down in the box. He goes down on the chance from Higgins. It's a penalty. Penalty for Liverland. Ramica here. FC Alaman switched off, it was another long ball for you, just checking all the players are behind the ball. This could be a big moment in the game for both of these sides. Here is William Dunn stepping over this. Real chance to extend the advantage, here he comes, left footed, Dunn down the middle, it's three for Liverland. FC Alaman nil, Liverland, Remica three, two goals in the opening ten minutes of this second half. William Dunn, cool as you like from the spot. William Dunn for Liverland, back out to the left-hand side, good control by Hamill, up against Whitley, takes past him and Sam Baines, lovely ball into the centre for Nugent, here's Hamill, first time ball out to the right, sweeping ball to Adowu, chance on the counter-attack here for Liverland, Remica once again into the box, it goes over the corners, headed clear, this level, multi-ball isn't allowed, but they're allowed to go and chase the one ball, very well noticed, here's Mikey Williams on the edge of the... Uh, Liverland penalty area and going down his own share of the substitute, it's cleared up the left-hand side again, the flag has stayed down, Elliot Taylor, He's going down the left-hand side. There goes Ryan Burns flying in. He misses the challenge. Taylor's going to get there. It's a free kick on the left on the edge of the Elliot Taylor's composed finish just a couple of minutes in, doubling Liverland's advantage. And then just a few moments later, Taylor brought down in the FC Alaman box and William Dunn converting from the penalty spot. Here come FC Alaman into the Liverland half. Bit of space for Joe Walters on the left edge of the box. Knocks it across goal and Reynolds leaves that. And the 6 yard box is a goal kick here. Joe Walters, it was a teasing ball from the left. Short pass to the right for Frank Jones. His is intercepted. Liverland with a chance to break down the left-hand side. And Elliot Taylor is in on goal again here. Can he see on the hat-trick? He's gone around the goalkeeper. His shot's brilliantly blocked by Jack McVeigh. It's back out to Paul Foy, though. Danger not gone. Foy wants to get on his right foot across goal. And now here's Jack McVeigh. Left-hand side for SCL man. Short ball in field to Danny Gerrard. And then a ball back halfway into the SCL man half to Ryan Burns. And to the right-hand side for Owen Sherrod. Inside for Gerrard, under pressure from Nvalo of Litherland. First time ball to Burns, and a first time ball back out to Jack McVeigh. They've moved the ball around well at times in the uh, defensive midfield FC Alaman, but a lack of quality has been evident so far in the final third today. Bundle to the floor is Danny Gerrard. Can FC Alaman produce something at the end of this half? It's going to be Danny Gerrard. It's over the wall, good save by Reynolds. And tips it out for a corner. Done getting there. Oh, and uh, Tom Wallace wrestled to the floor here. 
and there could be a card for Ryan Burns who's already been booked so it could get worse it's a second yellow for Ryan Burns and Ryan Burns is off <laughs> calmly plays it back to his goalkeeper Reynolds and cleared out over the right hand side and that will be the last action of what really has been a day to forget for FC Alleman full time here at the ball FC Alleman 0 Liverland Remaker 3 